Here we are for another Baywatch Hawaii update. Here it is right now, Shock Island. Mitch takes Tana on an overnight camping trip to a small island with, where a dream encounter with the ghostly Hawaiian drives Tana to deal with his inner conflicts. All right, let's try to get this. Um, let me. Oh, now I lost myself from inner inner conflicts from his troubled life back in Los Angeles. Meanwhile, Jason rescues his, I mean, Jason risks his life to prove his worth for the team when Sean has him blindfolded and placed on an oceanfront cliff. Yada, 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 the, uh, someone got stung by a jellyfish. 6.0 out of 1080. Let's just say that this episode was okay. What I don't understand is why they brought this Tana kid back to the show. I thought, it, uh, at first I thought it was a good idea. It's, I haven't watched this in a long time, so I forgot what happened. At the end of season 10, I mean at the beginning of season 10, but I can tell you right now, I wasn't too satisfied at the result after a while. I noticed Tana keeps popping in, but his character doesn't really mean much, and there's no really start real story behind it. And Mitch, I think, is pretty much off the show now, because he wasn't in the last couple episodes. Okay, next episode, Strike Team, 6.0 out of 10, 81. Sean and the rest of the team miss their lives when they rescue... When the, when they help with the long local coast guard and a daring rescue to save six kayakers who have gotten stranded on the coast, they did save them, but they had to um, do it at night against all odds and pretty much the rules to go get the two remaining ones at the end. But that was a pretty good rescue. But Sean becomes determined to find them. He and J and J D and Jesse. Oh, I didn't mention that they broke up. <laughs> Big deal, right? It's like a soap soap opera. You were. You read um, during the day. It's stupid. Um, it's kind of stupid because they weren't even together for much of the show. And already they're out the door. Allie and Dawn. Dawn's a troublemaker in this. I remember that. Travel into a shock infested cave. That's 6.0 out of 1081. Um, <sighs> stupid thing. Let's just say this. Uh, I am a little whacked wacky when it comes to Baywatch Hawaii because I think it really you know the aspects of it are great when it comes to quality when you watch this because the HD is incredible for a show that was made in what right here it says um 1999 all these episodes were aired in 99 these shows look incredible in HD they did a great job to restore it something is, is phenomenal um, and I think that the, there are some stories that are, are better in this. The stunt work is a little better because, you know, it's at the end of the 90s. It's not like 1989 when they started this. But of course, with the lack of... The, they had to hire all these good-looking women and men. And in order to do that, I hate to say it, but they hired a lot of people that just don't know how to act at all. And that's why the show failed. It was the plot. Nobody gets sick of, of looking at people in bathing suits. If, if that was the case, then this show would have been on for like a hundred years. Um, all right, well, I'm going to exit out of this now because this stupid app, no matter what I do, every time I go into IMDb, it sends me to the damn app. I don't want to go to the app, but it doesn't give me an option. So um, that's it. All right, bye-bye.